find the angle between two surfaces x square plus y square plus z square that is equal to 9 and another surface z is equal to x square plus y square minus 3 at the point 2 minus 1 2. So you are given two surfaces. Suppose one surface phi equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 equal to 0 uh, and another surface psi equal to x square plus y square minus z minus 3 is equal to 0. So you have to uh, you have given two surfaces and uh, you have to find the angle between the two surfaces at the point 2 minus 1 2. To find the angle first we have to find out the gradient of the first surface then we will find out the gradient of the first surface at the point 2 minus 1 2. Similarly, we will find out the gradient of the second surface and gradient of the second surface at 2 minus 1 2 and the two vectors that is the gradient of the surface is equal to suppose the vector a vector and uh, the gradient of the surface psi suppose equal to the b vector uh, then after finding the two vectors you use the simple formula that is a dot b equal to uh, magnitude of a into magnitude of b into cos theta from that formula you can find out cos theta then you can find out theta that is the angle between the two vectors so let us work out the problem first i have find out the gradient of the surface phi that is equal to del of phi this is your del operator when del operator operates on phi uh, that is the scalar function this will be a gradient and this is a vector so if you take the partial derivative of x square with respect to x that, that will be equal to 2x partial derivative of y square with respect to y that is equal to 2y similarly partial derivative of z square with respect to z is equal to 2z so gradient of phi at 2 minus 1 2 if you substitute x equal to 2 y equal to minus 1 i have substituted here and z is equal to 2 then you will find the vector suppose a this vector i have taken a so a vector is equal to 4i cap minus 2 into minus 1 minus 2 so minus 2j cap plus 2 into 2 that is equal to 4 so 4k cap suppose this is equation number 1 similarly you can find out gradient of the uh, scalar function psi this one that is equal to the del of psi this is your del operator and this is your psi x square plus y square minus z minus 3 if you take the partial derivative of x square that is equal to 2x partial derivative of y square with, um, with respect to y that is equal to 2y partial derivative of minus z that is with respect to z is equal to minus 1 then you find out the gradient of psi at the point 2 minus 1 2 so if you substitute x equal to 2 y equal to minus 1 and z is equal to uh, 2 here i have taken y equal to minus 1 and here there is no z value so minus 1 into k uh, so, so suppose this is your b vector so b vector will be equal to 4i cap minus 2j cap minus k cap suppose this is equation number 2 now using the formula a dot b equal to magnitude of a into magnitude of b into cos theta cos theta will be equal to a dot b divided by magnitude of a into magnitude of b we, we have find out on the two vectors a and b so you take the dot product of two vectors a and b this is your a vector this is your b vector and magnitude of a is 4 square plus minus 2 square plus 4 square and magnitude of b is 4 square minus 2 square plus minus 1 square and when you take the dot product all you have i dot i j dot j and k dot k exists so 4 into 4 16 plus minus 2 minus 2 that is equal to plus 4 
plus 4 minus 1 that is equal to minus 4 and if you solve it then this will be equal to 16 divided by square root of 36 into square root of 21. So, if you solve it, 16 divided by square root of 36 is 6 into square root of 21. So, 8 divided by 3 into square root of 21. So, theta will be equal to cos inverse 8 divided by 3 root 2, uh, 3 uh, square root of 21. In this way, you can find out the angle between two surfaces at a given point 